don't know daddy asked for me for help what is up guys back home are you so excited ah uh, i am it's evening got a cup of coffee because not quite recovered from all the traveling uh jeremiah just called me from the back of our property and told me he needs some help i figured i would bring you guys with me hmm are we pig wrangling i'm not sure yet place the water out i don't know what's going on toby but do you want to say hi to our friends yeah hi <laughs> toby i want you to stay back here not in with the pigs okay okay so what's the what's the job of the moment figure out how many babies she had wait babies what so the job of the last couple of days has been finishing up this pig yard and keeping an eye on our two mangalitsa mamas now there are differing opinions on whether you can leave a boar in when a sow has babies lots of people do and what i've heard with the breed mangalitsas is that they have they do good like the the boars do okay with the sows they don't usually hurt the babies but we wanted to be on the safe side so our plan has been to separate gerard keep him separate uh but she had her babies so got some ripe kitchen scraps you want me to hold the camera for you mom uh yeah here thank you Oh, it smells disgusting. And okay. Really nice. I like this it. is totally our fault for not having this done. But, you know, it is what it is. All right, so Gerard is now over in his little isolation pen. As you can see here, now the pigs have had the ability to roam their little area. Okay, I want you to come back here with me, but listen, I gotta talk to you, okay? Hold my hand, okay? Now listen, she, she's doing good, and most of her babies are doing good, but one of her babies is not doing good. So Jeremiah's talking to our friend to get some advice, but unfortunately, I don't think one of the babies is gonna live. So I'm gonna bring you back here to see the babies, and it's very exciting. So we can be excited about most of them, but we are a little sad about one of them, okay? Okay. Okay, and I'm gonna let you. How much is there? I'm gonna let you see it, okay? So cool. Okay, be careful. Don't scare. Can I go and see them? Okay. Current situation. Let me catch you up on this. I didn't video it right away because I thought that we had a dead baby, and I didn't want to put that on video. Okay, so here we have babies. Okay, so this is our baby that I don't. I don't think he's. His back legs aren't working. And, um, if it works, uh, honey, I don't think that's gonna happen. You can hold him, but he's got some, he had some poopy on his bottom, so just be careful. Mm -hmm. Do you know that sometimes, look at me, okay, I'm gonna teach you a lesson right now, and it's a hard lesson, okay? Sometimes, when we know that they're not gonna make it, the best thing that we can do is be kind to them while they don't make it, okay? So, like right now, instead of him just laying there and, and flailing around, you holding him is you loving him and honoring him, okay? But his back legs don't work, okay? Why? I'm not sure why, but we're getting some advice to see if there's any way we can save him, but I just don't know, baby. How is that going to kill him? Because he can't eat. He can't get to the food. And how about we just weigh him down to the food? I tried that. I tried to put him there where he could eat, but if his legs don't work, he's not going to be able to get around. Farm life sucks sometimes. Uh, I don't know what happened with that piglet. Um, it could have come out not right, in which case the uh, sow will, a lot of times, they'll kill him. Um, I don't know <clears throat> if it was an accident or what, but, or if it was just wasn't right, but it's not, not going to be something we can do anything about. We have six healthy babies, though. Come on. Okay, step over. Don't hit that electric wire. Where's the baby pig? I'm gonna show you. Hey, don't don't stress her out. What do you think? I want. I really, I haven't seen what they feel like, and I don't think what the curly pig feel like. Well, we're not gonna see what they feel like right now because we're not gonna make their mommy feel afraid. Come to me. 
Ben's trying to call him to him. Because he knows there's no chance of him getting to hold him unless it comes to him. Yeah, so I can't pick him up. Are they having dinner or breakfast or lunch? Right now, uh, well, babies eat all the time, so... It's like fourth meal, except for like, it's like 16th meal. They have to eat a lot so they can grow fast and healthy. Now, Mama Pig, obviously, which that's Fanny, that's which pig that is. Um, she had her babies back here, like dug out a little burrow and where they were surrounded by the brush. Um, we want to be able to provide shelter for her even though she did not choose to have them in the shelter that was provided. And so, you know, sometimes we think, okay, would it be better to just let her do her thing? But we also have like days of rain coming and we don't really feel like it would be best to leave them out like that all the way on the other side of the yard from the house, the pig house. So Jeremiah's actually getting some hog panels uh, to create something of like an enclosure and put her and the babies in it with shelter so that you know there's there's just less risk that way and she might not love that at first but I think that that's what's going to be best so we've got Gerard separate we've got that the other thing that we do are doing to kind of intervene here is he's getting some fly spray to put on her backside because um, it's summer in Arkansas we have flies so bad it's just part of living on a farm but just we would rather kind of get her covered up just to make sure so Clementine here she's got some more time she didn't look nearly as big as Fanny did but she does look pregnant. We're honestly just getting all of this squared away and we're so close. Once it's all squared away, we won't have to deal with these things anymore. Hey, Nosy. What's up? I dreamed of having this little farm forever. And now having it, it's the best thing. I wouldn't trade this life for anything. I love it. But it definitely has very bittersweet moments. You know, the elation of your first litter of baby pigs mixed with the sadness of losing one and dealing with that lesson with your kids. Check out the sweet potato barn. It's absolutely taking over this front bed. It's like coming out of the tires all over the place. Oh, look. My dahlias began opening up. Aren't those pretty? They're so lovely. And this is holy basil, which I didn't plant there. Must have traveled over in seed form, hopped the beds. Probably had the help of a little bird. So I've got all of my fall plant starts out here. I've already started uh, putting in some of the squash and stuff, but all these kales and all of that are going into the garden tomorrow, hopefully. I'm gonna get the rest of my roots planted and all of the plant starts moved over. It'll take me longer than just tomorrow, but I'm hoping to really knock a chunk of it out. Tomorrow, it's been really hot and the weather just hasn't broken. Um, this whole week is like 95. And when it's really, really hot like that and really dry, it's not really the ideal circumstances for things like carrots and radishes and stuff to be germinating. So I've been keeping an eye on the weather and I knew that we were about to get a break in the weather. It's supposed to start storming like in the next day or so. Um, and our highs and lows are dropping by about 15 degrees. So definitely more ideal for planting a fall garden. So I'm waiting until tomorrow and I'm gonna cover, oh bear, leave those bees alone. Come on, man, don't get stung. I'm gonna cover any um, root seeds I put in, specifically carrots, because it's so easy for them to get washed away. Um, I've got some like scrap boards and stuff, so I'm gonna sew them and put those down on top. I'll show you guys, I'll shoot a video. But my plan for tomorrow is pretty much to be outside most of the day because it's gonna be overcast and on and off rain. So as long as I can be out here, I will. Our bees are doing really well. Um, the three hives all doing just fine. Maya and I put on our bee suits the other day and came out here and took a look at them. I always wonder what people think whenever they drive by and I'm walking around out here talking to a camera. It's okay. 
maybe they'll find us on YouTube. Yo, look at this. We finally got the roses going around. Aren't those beautiful? I think this is a pretty short video. I was hoping to do something like really epic for my first video home after being gone for a week, but we had baby pigs instead. I guess that's pretty awesome. It's getting dusky. I haven't fed my kids yet, so this is where we're going to have to part ways for the day. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. God bless you. Until next time.